just making sure that the kids are feeling loved on and seen and supported by their community um, and waking up to presents on Christmas I think is really important when you know that all of your friends are, are getting something for Christmas and you're not I think that that would be really detrimental to a kid. The reason that I actually started it to begin with was because there was a another nonprofit that um, a business was collecting toys for and um, they had they called them like middle of December and said hey do you want to come do a pickup for these toys and they said oh we're all done with our toy drive and I found out through um, doing it and through going and picking up those toys and making sure that they got to families that a lot of them cut off their services early in the year um, their nomination window might close in August or September when a lot of families don't necessarily know at that point that they need help. A lot of the programs in town stop at 12 years old or 13 years old and we want to make sure that teens, anyone, you know, through high school graduation is able to wake up to something. I think the teens sometimes notice it more than well, even so right. the younger kids. Um, and so we just, uh, we also go to 23 um, local cities. We don't just stop at the county line. So just kind of taking away those barriers to access. And then the big thing that we do differently is we meet the families exactly where they are. We go to their doorsteps. So um, the family can expect sort of a ding dong dash situation. I and love it, <laughs> I love it. And when they open the door, there'll be a burlap sack um, full of toys and a food care package that'll sustain them for two or three meals. <laughs>